YouTube. This is YouTube user AlpalJL. And today is September 4th, 2010. And now I am the proud owner of an Apple iPad. That's right. iPad. Shiny Apple logo. Another shiny Apple logo. And iPad. Here's the bottom of the box. Um, so the specs. 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi and let's see Apple A4 chip and all that jazz okay um, I don't know what I'm doing talking right now when I'm too damn excited so let's cut just like that we done one more to go. Okay. Now, for all you people who do unboxings, close the damn knife. It drives me nuts when I see people who don't close the knife. All right, bottom piece of shrink wrap. Cycle. Top piece of shrink wrap. Stays on the box. Hallelujah. Now, it's the box. Nice new apple smell. And here is the iPad itself. My god, never thought I'd be holding one of these out of the Apple store. Alright, so, designed by Apple in California. What is in here? We find out. Okay. Um, let's see. Stuff that I'll probably never need. iPad. More iPad stuff. <gasps> Apple stickers. Sweet. Alright. These are in the box. Um, how does this close? Just like this. Okay. So, anyways, here is your power cord. Okay. And yes, they included a USB power brick. You don't know how much I love these things. I'm very happy about them. And Let's see. Oh, that's everything in the box. Okay, they didn't come with headphones, and I meant to buy headphones there. Oh well, I guess I'll get them next time I'm there, because I wanted the remote. All right, so here's the iPad box. Now the iPad itself. I can hear it starting up. Alright, it's probably going to say sync to iTunes, so I'm going to put the iPad right here aside. Um, and here we go. iPad case. Apple. If I notice it say anything, um, I'll show you. Wow, that's ridiculous. This. There we are. Alright, so here's the case. Let me make, just make sure there's nothing else. Alright. Um... Here it is. You can see an Apple logo right there. Um, peeling it all out just like that. Living it up. Alright. So, let's see. I'm assuming. Oh, here. Screen it is that special material with the non scratch. Peel it off, it looks like the back of any new Apple computer, especially the iMac G7. So, alright, um, here we are. Oh my god. to touch this because I don't want any fingerprints on it. Oh, it goes in my back. Let's see, immediate protection. Immediate. Make sure that's on camera. There we are. There we are. Something on the screen. The only fly I've had with this. Case does not like it going in there. Oh my god. I think it's 
Oh, not in there yet. All right, here we go. Look at that. All right, so it opens. It does a bunch of other stuff like this. I have no clue how to use this. So people, you can help me because I'm, oh, here we go. And then it does, I don't know what this is. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Say, what do this piece is for? I'll figure that out off camera. I'll just show you. Oh, well, how does this work? Oh, this is the screen. Since the screen rotates so well. I guess something like that. Anyways, that's it. Peace. Anyways, I figured out how this works, and there's my camera. Alright, so I figured out how the case works. Um, there's no battery life in there or anything, so it hasn't been synced yet, and there's it is standing up. And there I am. Peace. There's this, um, oh, crap, I should have left the camera on the tripod. See? That. Anyways, that's it. So it's one week later from September 4th, September 11, um, 2010, and I've owned this iPad for exactly a week. And here is my one week review. So first, going around the hardware, um, this is the Apple case, as you can see. And if you can't see, hope that helps you out. All right, so on the bottom, you got your, dot, your cable connector and your speaker right there. There's your volume rocker and screen lock. Here's the lock button and power button. And there, the bigger hole on the right, um, is the headphone connector. And the little hole on the left is the microphone. So, inside this device, you will see, of course, the home button and the gigantic 10-inch screen. And... Something about this case, since this review is a mix. See this flap right there? Watch this. It's kind of hard to do it with the camera in the way. Oh, there it is. It's right in there. So you can set the iPad down like that. And that's basically how it sits. Or you can sit it up like that. So, let's push the home button. And of course, there's the screen. Geek. And there's the time. I use military time. It's, that's 2.17. And you can see it's Saturday, September 11. And here it says iPad and it says the Wi-Fi. And wow, we're at the complete opposite side of the house from where the router is. And you're still picking up a signal. You can see it's locked. And there's the charge. And so, one more time. Let's slide to unlock it. Because I have a password, you may have noticed that the slideshow button's not there. All right, and I have the same background here. So, um, I'm going to say that I was very impressed with this product. Okay, my camera's giving the low battery light. I'll be right back. All right, after that short intermission, I had to go get the camera charger. Um, first off, I will say that this screen is amazing. I mean, I know it's through a camera, but look at that quality. It's almost like a retina display. No promises saying it is is but still this quality is amazing there we go as you see um in here um let's take three fingers and do, do this oh geez that wasn't supposed to happen there we are look at that as you see it's still pretty damn clear a little pixely on the corners but yes Believe it or not, on an iPhone 4 when I did this, you can barely see the pixels, even when it's zoomed in. So anyways, um, first I want to show you something interesting. As 
um, a non-dedicated iPad app. Let's open up TonePad. As you notice, it's just as big. Um, but you can see it gets smaller because it's an iPod Touch slash iPhone app. But this button in the corner right there um, makes it as big as the screen. It's this 1X because it's bigger. But when it's smaller, it says 2X. So let's hit 2X. And there it is. Let's see that action one more time. And here's this app. And another thing you may notice is that, oh my god, is this screen amazing. I mean, is that speaker amazing? I mean, listen to that. That's pretty good. Which brings me to the next topic. iPod. As you may notice, it looks it's very similar to iTunes. So, putting the case back in its upright position, let's go, um, let's see. We've, we've just got um, an amazing, amazing amount. Let's see, uh, let's do. See now, isn't that good speaker quality? It's the eight bit version of Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. But anyways, that's pretty damn amazing, that speaker quality. And, um, okay, as you can see, home screen, portrait and landscape. All right, so let's go now into iBooks. Okay, so now we're in iBooks. Um, and I find the reading on here to be amazing. I'm reading um, book six of a series of unfortunate events, Lemony Snicket series. That's where I left off. But anyways, I find the reading here amazing because due to my eyesight, I need large print. So um, this was the ultimate solution, the main reason why I got an iPad. As um, you can change the font to make it bigger or smaller, or you can change the font itself there's Times New Roman, but I like the last one. And then there's Sepia. Look at that. That's pretty good. And then here's your library. And here's another book I'm reading in school, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, which is a pretty good book. And then, of course, um, but we're kind of far from the router, so I won't be showing this, but up in the upper left corner, Focus camera, the store. That's where you purchase books. And there's a quite a nice selection of books in that store. As in they got quite a lot. And now time for the discovery. Watch this. Are you kidding me? That's right. You can watch a video on that one. And then we've got Safari, which looks like the Safari you'd see on the computer. Let's just go to Google so it loads quicker. But look at this. Safari looks exactly like it would on your typical computer. And then, since it's Safari on a Macintosh, look at that. Look at that. And the tab viewing is gorgeous. See? And switching to tabs is, is easy. And, uh, let's see, is there any other app I would like to review on? At the moment, no. If you would like any review or any request, send me a message. Anyways, peace out.